All right, this is Calc A B, notes 25, still on page two. Uh, we are revolving this function, uh, which is f of x, one minus two x plus three x squared minus two x cubed around whatever given axis we have. And we're using uh, cylindrical shells to do it. So vertical axis, cylindrical shells, excellent choice. So keep in mind though, so this is a little weird. Well, it's not really weird. This is the thing to get used to. Uh, we're only going from zero to one. So the axis that we're gonna use here is x equals negative three. So let's try to draw a picture. Doesn't need to be accurate, just needs to be like usable. So we know that this is happening. I don't really know what the function looks like, but it doesn't matter, right? So here's a little sliver, it's gonna be here. It's gonna be an x value. That x value anywhere between zero and one. So those are gonna be our bounds. And then our axis that we're gonna revolve around is way out here at x equals negative three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw in a radius. So it goes from here to here. Okay, so the little sliver that we drew is to the right of the axis. So our radius is gonna be right take away left, so x minus negative three, which is x plus three. Our height is here. So our height is just gonna be f of x. Okay, so, so far pretty good. And then uh, this question features the best thing that you can see when you're doing these problems. Calculator, we're gonna use calculator. So let's set it up and then we'll just use the calculator to get it. So it's gonna be two pi. Now the sliver that we drew is only allowed to go from zero to one. So our bounds are zero to one. And then the height, nope, the radius is x plus three. The height, I'm just gonna write f of x, dx. And then let's use the calculator to get the answer. So switching over to calculator. So I've already stored the function. You can see it says done. Uh, I'm gonna do two pi times. You should use the templates, but it's just faster. Um, so it's x plus three and then f of x, and we're going from zero to one. So there you go. That's gonna be 101 pi over 30. I'm gonna write that in. Um, so that's the volume that we get. And it like it, it's a pretty simple method. Uh, I find that once you learn it, if you really understand it, it's fast, especially if you're allowed to use a calculator. What can happen is that, uh, you know, like both methods, they can be annoying. Here, if I needed to expand this, x plus three times f of x, f of x is this thing, right? So that's like not super fun, um, but we'd be able to do it. Uh, so let's see if we can do this. So draw a picture, doesn't need to be accurate, just needs to be usable. So we know this is one, we know this is one, or whatever f of x. Okay, so two is over here. Let's dot that in. We're going to go around that. All right, so let's draw a sliver. Can be anywhere between zero and one. So those are going to be our bounds. And then our radius goes from here to here. So the radius is gonna be right take away left. So two is to the right. So it's gonna be two minus x. Our height at this point is just whatever f of x is. So height is gonna be f of x. And so I really regret that I didn't start using this like color coding idea until here. Let me go back and just kind of like, let's go back and fill in here. Let's see. We'll say our height. This is how you make it look like you did a good job. Just f of x, and then our radius up here, right? And there's no, we don't need this. Let me delete this, get out of there. Like it never happened, you know? Perfect, perfectly uniform notes all the way through. Radius was uh, just, well, I'm gonna write x minus zero, which is x. Uh, and then we, we did that, you know, perfect. Perfectly consistent. So here, when you get two pi, so that's the thing that you're gonna forget. 
uh, when you go to the calculator. 2 pi and the integral from 0 to 1. Now I'm nervous that I forgot it on the last one. I hope I didn't. I, I hope that when I like get in there, it's, it's there, but a little nervous now that I said that. dx equals, and then uh, let's, let's see. So go to the calculator. Uh, it's there. I think it's there because I had done it correctly on the first one though, you know? Um, so two pi integral from zero to one. Notice integral from zero to one is not changing. Like it's the same all the way through. Um, which is some, when I first learned this, that it confused me a lot. Um, and it's all about like where, draw the little sliver, right? For your, for your one thing. Um, and then it's all about like, where can that vary from? It's gonna like wherever it starts to wherever it stops, those are your bounds. So it doesn't matter where you change the axis, the region doesn't change. Um, and that's why it stays the same boundaries. 49 pi over 30, everything's over 30. Interesting. I don't know if there's something going on there. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, I mean, I think I could just do the next one in this video, get it done so you don't have to like find another YouTube video. Let's see. All right, find the volume of the solid form by rotating this region uh, about the y-axis. All right, so it doesn't say not calculator, so let's go to the calculator and look at the region, and then we'll come back and sketch it. So uh, I'm gonna do a new problem, doc for problem, graph page, and then I wanna do 5x minus x squared, and eight minus five x plus x squared. Okay, and we're gonna like sketch that. Let's find the intersections. Menu eight, one, four, click, click. One, four, and four, four. All right, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the notes and like set it up, and then uh, we'll come back here and solve it. So back to the notes. I wish it would default, like just bounce back like right away. It does not though. Um, so let's sketch this. You know, we don't even, uh, I guess we do. I was going to say we don't even need the axes, but since we're going around the y-axis, we really do. All right, here's one, four, and then four, four. So one, four, and four, four, we know are the intersections. Kind of interesting that it's symmetric. Um, I don't know. I got nothing to say about that. I just think it's kind of interesting. So here is f of x, and then here, oh my god, that's, that's what happens when your hand slips, ah, gosh, why can't I, I know that you're, you're not here to watch me try to do this, but I am struggling, and I'd like to not, let's, let's give it one more shot here, free hand, you do it, yes, okay, so this is g of x, all right, one, four, 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 all right, so we need a radius. So I'm going to draw a little bit of a sliver here, uh, which I think I've been using what color for? Purple, so not that color. Uh, here we go. Okay, so that's, now this is interesting because the height that we're going to get is this thing. This is going to be the height, right? So the height, in this case, is going to be top takeaway bottom. So it should be the top curve is f of x, bottom curve is g of x. All right, that's our height. Our radius, we, we gotta go from the axis out to our little sliver to the radius is gonna be uh, just x. And then x can be anything between one and four, and we'll still be inside the region. As long as we stay between one and four, we stay within the region, those are gonna be our bounds. So let's see if we would write this. So it's gonna be two pi, which you don't want to forget. One to four keeps us in the region that we're interested in. The radius is just x. The height is f of x minus g of x. Make sure you put the parentheses so that it uh, distributes correctly because that x needs to go with everything. And then uh, I'm just going to use a calculator to get this answer because I don't want to be here all day. Um, and usually with these, it's more about like setting it up than actually doing it. Also, it's just polynomials and I'm just full of excuses basically. Um, so F1 is on top. So let's see, doc for calculator, two pi integral, X times quantity F1 of X 
minus f2 of x. You can use the var key for those, and you should. Comma x, comma 1 to 4. So I get exactly 45 p, uh, pi p. What? 45 pi. So you can see when I press the var key, those were available. You should do that like all the time. It'll save you a ton of time. Uh, so I think the volume of this thing is 45 pi. Unless I've messed something up, which I don't think I have, but like you never know. Um, all right, so let's go back to the notes. Take a look at what we did. And this is it. This is a, it's a pretty straightforward thing. Like the hardest part, honestly, the hardest part is drawing the figure correctly so that you can like get your components out of it correctly. But once you do that, uh, you're going to be totally fine, especially if you're allowed to use a calculator to evaluate it. So uh, we did these where we moved this super good method for a vertical axis. I do not ever use it for horizontal. Horizontal, I always do discs or washers. Vertical, uh, after the AP exam, I always use shells. Prior to that, I always convert it and use discs and washers because every problem on the AP exam can be done with discs and washers. Um, as of 2020, as of 2019, because 2020 wasn't even on the exam. But uh, all right, so I'm going to end this here. Be back in the next video, do some more stuff. So hope to see you there. Hope you find these helpful and uh, goodbye.